have Dr. Joshua Rosenau, Director of Functional Neurosurgery at Northwestern Memorial Hospital and Assistant Professor of Neurosurgery to tell us a little bit about neurosurgery and being a doctor. Dr. Rosenau, please give us a quick overview of neurosurgery, what it's about and how it works. Simply put, neurosurgery is the surgical treatment of diseases involving the nervous system and its coverings. It actually can get pretty extensive because it means we can be dealing with the brain, the spinal cord, the peripheral nerves, as well as the spine and the coverings of the brain and spinal cord, such as the dura mater. So on any given day, neurosurgeons might be dealing with brain tumors, they might be dealing with spine surgery, they might be dealing with pain conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome or, tri or trigeminal neuralgia, or they might be dealing with things such as epilepsy or Parkinson's disease. It's a rather wine-raging specialty that is open to a myriad of possibilities. So Dr. Rosenau, what inspired you to enter a career in neurosurgery? I had entered medicine actually thinking that I was going to do something cardiovascular like heart surgery. I knew I was driven toward a surgical career, but again, I thought it was going to be something like cardiac surgery. When I was in college, I did a short summer research fellowship, and the lab that I originally wanted to get into was actually closed, and I was directed to a neuroscience lab, which at the time was probably the most unappealing thing I thought they could have me do. I was very inspired by that summer, though, and ended up doing a few more years of neuroscience research that actually uh, directed me toward a career in ophthalmology, again, pretty far from neurosurgery. In medical school, though, I was, so, I was so entranced by our first year neuroscience course that I sought out uh, a neuroscience research elective, and that led me right to neurosurgery. It was something that once I found it, it immediately clicked into my head that I had found my love and that this was what I wanted to spend my career doing. And after all that training, and you're now a neurosurgeon, what are some of the satisfactions and challenges in a practical way to being an actively practicing as well as academic neurosurgeon? I think neuroscience is for a lot of the, the different areas within it is still a very much undiscovered country. There is so much left we need to learn. Things like the heart, we pretty much understand a lot of the physiology of the kidney we do, but the nervous system, where consciousness comes from, where personality comes from, how things in the brain and in the spine actually work are still so, so, so unknown to us in many different ways. There are so many avenues for exploration, so many things left to be discovered, and so many ways to help people. My subspecialty area of neurosurgery is called functional neurosurgery that deals with working with chronic conditions such as epilepsy, pain, and movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease and tremor. And every day I have the incredible satisfaction of seeing my efforts help people achieve freedom from seizures, achieve better motion and suppression of tremor from essential tremor and Parkinson's disease, and see them gain relief from disabling chronic pain. And that gives me tremendous satisfaction on a daily basis. And how about some of the challenges? Again, because neurosurgery is one of those areas in which we don't know so much, it sometimes can be very frustrating when people say, why don't you know why X happens or why Y happens? And all we can say is, look, we're putting a lot of time and energy and effort and money into researching this. And that can get a little frustrating. The slow pace of research and the slow pace of discovery is challenging, but is also a little frustrating. But the, the job is demanding, the challenges are large, but I think the satisfactions are tremendous. And so what advice would you have, generally speaking, not just for neurosurgeon surgery, but for future doctors? Keep an open mind. When you're going through both pre-medical training and medical school, keep an open mind. Don't be preset on what you want to do. Approach every subject you see, every rotation you go on as another possibility to find something you love. And eventually, something's going to hit you over the head and kind of pull you into it, saying, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. These are the questions that I want to investigate and deal with on a daily basis for the next 40 or 50 years of my career. And that's what you should, and that's what you should pursue. Don't have any preconceived notions of I want to do X or I want to do Y. I've had friends that thought they were going to do dermatology and now do colorectal surgery. Friends that thought they were going to do radiology and are doing cardiology. So just keep an open mind and just find something you love and go for it. Thank you very much, Dr. Rosenau. Thank you.